Hey guys, this is SF and welcome to Random Talk Sundays. This week I'll be farming Bell. A very easy dungeon, so I can probably not focus anything and still win and still get S clear, which is pretty much really OP. And in terms of luck, in terms of luck, I am at only a third, uh, two thirds in. So 64, I need 35. Probably not going to finish it in this session because there's only about 30 minutes left. And but basically, team is Skull Dragon, Apollo X, and Olive. And my Olive is at luck 13. I have been really lazy in metal farming. I still have I have some uh, metal uh, stones, magic stones, that can convert into metals. But I'm just saving it until I actually do like a mass conversion or something like that. But I'll get to 99. It's just a matter of getting to uh, Able Berry status with her. That's going to be a while. Uh, maybe with the next collaboration, it will be easier because. Nashi, will they do times 5? I don't think they will do times 5 for it. I think they said something about collaborations won't have times 5 medals. So that's going to be a little bit uh, really, really bad in terms of farming. So you basically have uh, the next collaboration is Marvel Zoom Zoom. Oh my god, I keep on saying Zoom Zoom. Zoom Zoom. How do you even pronounce it correctly? Like, I've seen... So, the recently the English version came out in for that game. And then I saw one of the... And I saw a YouTube video of the Marvel employees playing it. And they call it Marvel Zoom Zoom. I was like, oh my god, face palm. But like, how do you say it? Like, because Japanese call it Zoom Zoom. But... It's kind of weird in English when you're saying it in English because it looks, it sounds really weird. Oh my god. Zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. But I hear the Marvel people saying like zoom zoom. I'm like zoom zoom zoom. Oh that's, oh my head. Okay. You can tell me what I should, you can, you can, you can tell in the comments what, what type of pronunciation you want. Like zoom zoom or zoom zoom or zoom zoom <laughs> oh god but i've been playing the english version of uh that game relatively uh for a lot of time uh you get max lock there's max lock and stuff it's basically uh disney zoom zoom uh with monster strike monster strike co-op and of course the max lock stuff so it's really cool uh, if you like Disney Zoom Zoom, then uh, this is a pretty good game for you. Uh, it's good to convert because the gameplay is pretty much the same. It's just the farming mechanics is more uh, Monster Strike. And of course the English version is out. It recently came out. It's only been about a week or, a week or so. And I'm already like rank 30-ish. Which is a lot in that game. I've been playing it non-stop. Well, not non-stop, but I've, I've been playing it a lot. And it did cut into my Monster Strike time. And because I should have I should have finished Bao by a long time ago. Like a long time ago. But uh, since I'm playing other games, uh, that's not happening very... That's not happening. That didn't happen. But I'll get to finish Bao anyways. Uh, I wasn't really that scared that much. Uh, I wasn't really that scared. And missing out on max locking him because I know I can max lock in like two sessions or so. And sometimes for recently, like before, like a month ago, before a month ago, I'll be like full farm three hours, two sessions, and be done with it. But now it's just like farm about like one hour for this session, and then the next session I'll farm like two hours or something like that. So I'm kind of spraying it up more instead of oh my god, I gotta finish this max lock now. And be sad later on because there's other stuff coming. Because uh, I just try to spread out my timing for these stuff for Monster Strike, and I'll use my other time on other games. And get that pinch, and yep. But in terms of recent, my recent Monster Strike stuff, so Doom came out very recently, and. Dungeon was not hard, for the most part. 
if you see my video, the video will probably be up. I haven't really uploaded it. At this time, it's a Friday, but uh, it will be probably be up before the Sunday when this video comes out. But um, dungeon itself is not hard. Uh, a full fireball party can work relatively easily, depending on your. It's more mechanically based or decision based than like bringing like pure power of monsters because. Uh, even the high top tier monsters can die, can kill you if you don't play the map correctly, if you don't play the dungeon correctly. Well, that's the same as like a lot of dungeons, but it's not like a blind flicking or like connected dots type of dungeon where you just hit for bump combos and then the boss just uh, dies. It's a little bit different and... Ooh, I should have struck shot there, but whatever. But um, but yeah. Self's not hard. Uh, Doom is. People don't like Doom that much. I think he's okay. Uh, there's not a lot of my super no water monsters out there. But people just hate the Strike Shot because Strike Shot is not that strong. Uh, it barely hits 1 million on a Fire Monster. But uh, the point of the Strike Shot is to paralyze. The more hits you get, the more chances you can get for paralyzing a monster. For an enemy and then that can skip turns and that gives you a lot of uh, leeway in defeating the monsters okay next is strike shot time but yeah i'm right now i'm trying to cut off uh cut off time for these random talk videos because i think doing one hour i probably won't have enough things to say for one hour uh, probably 30 minutes will be enough uh, especially if it's just about monster strike and just to get like a heads up news on like recent Monster Strike stuff if you haven't looked at my blog. And of course any stuff, I don't do blogs for any stuff yes. Uh, I don't see the point, you can just look at the official Monster Strike page for news about that. I only do the JP ones because uh, it's more for translation purposes for like people that only speak English. But one more thing, uh, skill me zero. Uh, I recently defeated Skill Me Zero and a video with that be, will be up very soon. Skill Me Zero is annoying in my opinion. It's long and annoying. It's not crazy hard, but it's definitely harder than Doom. It's it's a little bit more pr uh, brainstaking for for players because you have to actually think about movements and turn turn adjusting and stuff like that. But that. Thing is out and then that thing will be out and then skill me zero is a very good monster for a strike shot and this is awesome just skipping these things 7.12 op uh, you can skip all the boxes coming out uh, the way you do it is just double tap or like tap for, uh, tap like crazy onto the screen and then they will uh, pop up very very fast or instantly and uh, some people like 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 the 24 7 turtles or something like that I just I don't really care about them, or even the zero stamina. I don't really care about it. I care about instant skips, like boom, boom, boom. And I'm running out of all my wood, NGBs. Okay. But in terms of JP news, JP news is Marvel Zoom Zoom collaboration. Like I said in the beginning, uh, Hatcher monsters. In terms of Hatcher monsters, I really like. Spider-Man. Spider-Man is not for the abilities, it's more for the art. The Ascendant art is so cute. I said it. I like cute things. I like cute things. If you don't know about me, I like cute things. I like cute things more than hot things. So the more cute the better. And Spider-Man does the cute very, very well. Especially the Ascendant form because Evolve form does have the uh, the chibi zoom zoom version of him, but uh, the ascended version is all of it's just zoom zoom or zoom zoom and stuff like that. And ability wise, it's not that bad either. Uh, the strike shot, the delay strike shot is very very strong, in my opinion. It's a little bit different, and it's really enemy dependent. But even so, like even if it's just one enemy, like a one turn delay can save lives. In my opinion, and I should have strike shot there, but I don't really care that much. Like S clear is so easy for it fell, so people might just like farm for metals with this uh, 
with this series. Grimly is not that bad either. And I missed my gate shot. Grimly is not that bad in this series either in terms of farming. And what else is there? Yeah, and Bell is like super easy as well. Okay, this time I will strike shot. To save time. But uh, Iron Man, Rocket, uh, Iron Man, and Captain America are the other two in terms of five, six star monsters in the Hatcher, and then Rocket Raccoon with his double breakers. He has Shield and Drone Breaker in his kit, uh, which is the first. Well, not actually the first. There is a second monster, but it, he's unattained, uh, obtainable now, and and his gauge was super fast, like. He was like probably the second fastest in terms of gauge, even though it was just a shield breaker or a drill breaker, either one of them. But yeah, uh, of course the Happy Prince, the yellow 4 or 5 star monster from one of the Hatchy series does have a drone breaker I think? A drone breaker and then the Strike Shot is a shield breaker or something like that. But uh, Rocket Raccoon has both of them in the ability so you can just pick it. Not pick and choose, but like you can just hit both and then they will die very very easily. So very very good. Very very good. I don't know how much I'm gonna roll. Probably like two 10 shots and I'll be done with it. Hopefully I get at least one of them. One of the 5-6 star monsters. And then I'll be happy. Of course I want Spider-Man, but you know, Hatcher hates me sometimes. Hatcher doesn't really like me that much. Uh, it took me like, I think 6-10 shots for Li uh, Lila. Although I did get Cleopatra and Arthur, a second Arthur along the way, but... I really wanted it was a Lila. Okay, boss time. And then in terms of... Uh, Farm Wolves is the villains. So Savage is Winter Soldier. Uh, Savage is Winter Soldier and Ronan. So Winter Soldier is of course the main bad guy. Well not the main bad guy but like one of the bad guys in the uh, Captain America movies. And then Ronan was the main boss for the Galaxy Gal Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And then 24-7 is Ultron. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Ultron is. And then... And then the Descend Monsters is Venom and Green Goblin. Both are Spider-Man villains. Uh, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, uh, I would think like it's pretty... It's kind of cool. It's kind of funny, I guess. Uh, I've told this to some people, but like... Spidey is pretty basically considered the OP monster of the... Hatcher, of course, he is the only one with the... He's the main character of the Hatcher, I guess. Or in the collaboration, mainly because he he's the only one that has evolution and ascension. Whereas, like... You know, most casual Marvel fans, or like, people that just watch the Marvel movies will... Will go for, like, the Iron Man is the main guy because Robert Downey Jr. is, like, super awesome and stuff like that. But even in the game, even in Marvel Simpson, the, the actual game, as uh, Spider-Man is pretty much a top tier monster in the game whereas Iron Man is like meh Iron Man is like meh in that game uh, Spidey is probably like Spidey is not like Lucy Gabriel level but he's like Arthur Roy's level kind of OP whereas Iron Man is like I wouldn't say he's like Bach level, he's like He's like in that mid-tier mid-tier type. He's like that mid-tier type, like I don't know. What's a mid-tier type of monster that's not really that great, but somewhat okay. I can't really think of much. <laughs> the only ones that I can think of mid-tier are like probably like Odo, I guess. Like those mid-tier and one minute until one minute. I should actually get a move on, or else I might miss it and miss my medals. Give me a good weak spot. There's a good weak spot. That's 
nice, and then Olive Strike Shot can pretty much finish. That's a good weak spot. There we go. Come on. Oh my god. One more. One more. One more. Damn it. Did I miss it? Probably missed it. Okay. Let's hope I didn't miss it. And then there's also going to be Loki in terms of one of the coming soons. If you check the official collaboration site, there's going to be a coming soon monster that is Loki. The Trickster Loki, not the OP one way laser uh, mind super Loki. And two drops. Yes, still got it. Okay, still got it. <laughs> I thought I was scared. Uh, that was a little sketchy there. I think it was 6.30 for S clear. 6.30 or something like that. I can actually check. Let's see the time there. It's about 15, 18 minutes. Let's see the time. 6.30, yeah. So that was really close. That was really close. Oh, thank you. Dun -dun. But yeah, a lot of people in my in the groups I'm in like don't really care for farming olive anymore. And uh, they all care about the actual chests that come out uh, from the metals. You get two extra chests, which is not guaranteed, but it's still like it's basically bringing another luck monster into the game, and more people use that than to exchange mouse from uh, Olive. People don't like Olive anymore, or never really like Olive, but um, just because her damage is really low and she's only cast typed in like these types of dungeons where the boss has gravity bears around them. Although she's really good, in my opinion. She's not like OP, of course. She's not like impossible level OP, but, um, but she's still a good farmable monster and it's relatively free. Like, people like, like, if you compare Olive to Bao, like, Olive is a lot stronger than Bao, even though Bao is a very good monster in itself. He has double nose, and very good double nose for uh, skill me, zero. And then, I don't know, I forgot his strike shot, but I think it's like somewhat old, somewhat decent. But Olive is just better and unique in my opinion. And of course, she's, she wrecks a uh, 22nd floor of the tower very well. Uh, she's just really good for that tower floor. In terms of tower floor, when this video comes out, I'll probably be finished tower. I did speed run the tower on stream because somehow my internet connection is really wonky at times, so I lag a lot, especially when I'm like mirroring and stuff like that. I need a new computer, that too. But um. So that's why I didn't. Uh, so that's why I didn't stream, and I'm taking it a little bit easy for now. I'm at as of Friday. I'm at number 38, I think. Did I finish 38? I don't think I finished 38 yet. But um, but that's me right now. So I only have 38, 39, and 40 to go. And for people who are wondering about the low change, if you guys see in my Facebook, not in my Facebook, but the Facebook Monster Strike group, uh, 30th and the 40th floor have been changed due to bugs and stuff like that. Uh, the only change really was the explosion step from Daigoku, you know, that like super OP attack from Daigoku. Uh, that got removed from the game, from those dungeons, so it's actually a lot easier. And why uh, 30 of course Daigoku appears in floor 30 as a mini boss and he has all these same attacks from the extreme at from the impossible the original dungeon uh, 40 one of the bubble hands has that attack as well. So that's why it got removed on that That's why that got changed So until they patch it up uh, you probably won't see Daigoku as it, as in their original dungeon in JP anytime soon, but I'm pretty sure they're working on it. Pretty sure they're working on it. And of course the rebound split shot got bugged as well. That won't change until October. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, it's really really crazy. 
Actually, I'll bring. Actually, do I have one? Oh, I can bring. Um, I can bring Jackie and Hyde in one of these runs. Probably the next one, and then is he the NGB version? I think it's the NGB version. But I'll bring it, and then you can see the difference in terms of before and after. If you've seen like my old old videos, the other videos before this update, and you've seen me use wise like like 50 million times, then you'll see the difference. But like damage wise, damage output is the same. It's just the way the splits, the beats shoot out are a little different. But that won't change until October, I think. That's what they said. But closest fix is, of course, the... Oh, I'm just going to strike shot here. Closest fix is the... Oh, I keep on blanking out. What is it? It is the 30th and 40th floor. It just made it easier, actually. Uh, they can live without it, but... Uh, but I think it's a little bit more better to just have it because it was originally there. And let's bring... Mr. Jaquil Hyde for Olive, I guess. I haven't used him uh, that much. Or should I replace it for Apollo X? I guess I'll replace it with Apollo X. Because he is a bounce monster. But I guess I should move on to NA. I do only have like 10 minutes or so. Only about 10 minutes or so. NA, uh, Kami's coming back at Guardian Series. So uh, Guardian Series, for people who don't know what Guardian Series is, it's basically the Super God, uh, Super Heroes Festival. Where's my Jaquil Hyde? Jaquil Hyde, Jaquil Hyde. There it is. And no Gravity Bear version. Yep. So it's basically that, and it's basically the same rates as normal Hero Series, but uh, there's no three star monsters, there's no silver eggs, it's all gold, even in singles. So it doesn't really mean that much if you if you really read between the lines. It doesn't really mean that much in terms of rates, you just get... And I doubt they changed the five star rates either, like increased it over on top of the normal Hero Series. Of course, Hero Series is better, better than like Event Series, like those types of hatchers. But I don't think like because of Guardians there will be a higher 5 star rate over Hero Series. Like it's not like Event, Heroes, Guardians, and then Legends. It's Event, Heroes, and Guardians, and then Legends. But uh, let's look at the rebound split. You see it's kind of wonky. So when, usually when you shoot one out, uh, I'll just go random for the shot. Usually when you see Royce's normal rebound shot, uh, it'll go one and then once it hits the wall, it'll split into two and the two will split into three like going in, like keep on moving. But this is, you shoot out one and once it bounces the wall, it will increase to two and then once it bounces to another wall, it increases to three and then it keeps on bouncing like that. So it's not really, uh, it's, you get less overall damage but the actual power of the actual beads itself did not change. It's just the amount of beads uh got got nerfed i guess but they said it, it was a bug so they're gonna be fixing it very soon and that's your lesson for today and jaquil hyde is pretty much not that great uh he's okay in this dungeon but he's not the best uh, a lot worse than apollo x i would have brought i would have liked to bring apollo x to the to the dungeon but whatever yeah, it's really awkward. And I should stretch out. But uh, Kamui's come as uh, first up for Guardian. So he's, I guess he's going to be a Heroes exclusive for now on, even though he is a Legends exclusive in JP. I guess. He and Dodgy kind of switch. Kamui's not a bad monster, he's just not great. Especially uh, when he was released in JB, he was released on the same day as Gabriel. So he got pretty much overshadowed by Gabriel. Uh, he's not a bad monster. A lot of people, if you're wondering which form he, you take, people go for the Ascend version. 
a lot more than the Evolve version, just because Ascend versions is more unique. Uh, why? Because the Ascend version you use it for Exfolia time trial, where he uses Nevlin Slayer against Saturn for that uh, time trial wood uh, from the Temple of Heroes. So his Nebulon Slayer slays Saturn, which is really good, and he also has a Meteor on top of the Stretch Out Reducer, which can basically clear off Saturn in, especially in the last fight in like one shot. And I just noticed that Hakil Jai, Jai, Hakil, Jakil, and Hides, uh, Stretch Out is going to be really useless because his is a Command Strike Shot, but Robin Hood and Olive's No Gravity Bear are in there. Gauge shot. But you can still clear it just by doing this normally. There we go. And then Towers coming back very soon in the end half of September. And they're going to be adding more floors, and I'm really, really not ready for 31st floor. Uh, in the tower, tower uh, in JP, I cleared it in one try, but that is because I had Nirai Kanai and... Nirai Kanai and what's her name? Uh, Iris. I do have Rapunzel in NA, but she's not ascended yet. So I need to get ascend materials for her. And none of her extremes are coming very anytime soon, so I'm a little worried there. And let's just use his uh, Jaquil's Strike Shot. But rest of it, 32 is not bad. Uh, just bring uh, Kushinada's and uh, Mustang Ascended, and you should be fine. Uh, just any wood. My Sweeper Monster, you'll be doing okay in that dungeon. Preferably, My Sweeper with either no damage wall or no gravity bear would be a little better, but uh, you can still make do with like two Kushinadas and a Mustang Ascended. And three drops. Thank you very much. That's clear. Thank you very much. And who else? Uh, 33rd floor is going to be hell for a lot of people. Uh, just because there's not many monsters that can work in that dungeon. Uh, you want no uh, damage wall and basically no damage wall and they have to be a pierce monster. Or else you're going to be really, really, uh, or else you're going to die a lot. And you can substitute one of them for a Wukong or a, a Evolve Himiko, and I don't have any more. Let's bring Noah. Why not? But, um, yeah, 33 is going to be hard for people. Uh, I'm okay because I have Cherry Wingers. I think I have another one that's Pierce and No Damage Wall, but I'm not sure. But I have two Cherry Wingers, so that's okay for me. Worst case, I'll bring like a Bounce Monster and most, and then like JP is a lot better off now because they're farmables like Avalon and there's some extremes like Shen and I think Gremly as well. Gremly is also a Pierce No Damage Wall monster so that works well but uh, it's going to be hard for people for 33rd floor. 34th floor is not that bad. It's basically Daigoku and Lucy wrecking the dungeon. Uh, 35th floor is... A little bit hard just because oh my god my connection but 35th floor is not bad but not easy uh, it's very easy to screw up in that dungeon if you're not careful enough but you can bring like Tempest or something like that and then she will work really well uh, you can bring Arthur uh, some people even not bring any uh, Gravity Bear monsters, they'll bring like Lucy or something, or even like God Striker, and then they will work as well. So, who knows? Nice Olive. There we go. 
but 30 I bet they'll only go up to 35 they won't probably go up to 40 especially with reduced times if they actually gonna keep it all the way to only to September and if you only have like two or three weeks onto that tower then it's going to be rough for the beginners and uh, that actually want to clear this tower but since 31 is coming then bubble is probably going to be coming again well not again like coming for the first time so that's really cool uh, probably not ascended bubble yet but what bubble is really good for like evolve bubble is really good for easy zero that's a good monster good for akala so Babel's stats are Minesweeper M and then Demon Slayer M. So why is he good for Islam Zero? Of course, uh, good for the mines. And then his laser can proc its the slayers on its base. He doesn't have a gate shot, so it's Minesweeper M and Demon Slayer M on the same in the base ability. But uh, the lasers will deal a lot of damage to uh, to the demons that shoots out the damage walls, which is pretty decent and the laser is not that bad either in terms of damage he is a power type though a power type though so that's a little bit of a turn off but very good monster in general and then of course really good for Akala just because Akala is also a demon and his laser and he is a light monster so laser does a lot of damage even if you don't pinch him the laser is really good for clearing off the uh, zombie loop very very well but once ascend bubble comes then people might want to go ascend like ascend bubble is not bad he's good because he's very viable he's very good because he can go into a lot of dungeons as a max luck monster but once you have a lot of different other max lux then you probably won't be using him that much uh, the only few dungeons that you'll actually bring him is like Daigoku or like Izanami or even Izanagi, uh, not Izanami, Izanagi and then Izanagi Zero like those two, those few dungeons whereas like, whereas like even like random extremes with no damage while you'll bring like specific monsters that's really good for that, uh, that dungeon like even like Jack you'll probably bring something else in my opinion in terms of max luck. There's probably like a Sprite Slayer no damage wall monster somewhere that I probably forgot. Oh, I guess, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Bastet. So people might bring her. Yeah, I hardly use mine Ascended Bubble anymore. Just because there's no openings for him to actually bring him. I guess Bubba is really good for Doom. Work out Doom. So that's a good thing, but I kind of wanted to bring all water monsters and Zeng Jiao is really good in general. As in Max Luck with the Beast Slayer M, which you saw in my video or would have seen in my video if you watched it. Okay. I think this is the last run. This is the last run. And it's already time in terms of real time for the dungeon. Okay. Shut shot. Speed up. Thank you very much. And then third with Noah. Next is Skull Dragon. And let's just check shot. Just for the pierce to get to the weak spot. And to use Noah's pump combo. But I'm looking forward to Marvel Zoom Zoom collaboration. And looking forward to the tower in NA. And hopefully I can beat it. And of course I'll be doing videos as specifically for the NA tower in terms of monsters that NA has and two drops at the end not bad and then other upcoming videos 
I haven't really thought of anything much yet. I'll probably bring Skill Me Zero for Impossible on Mondays and then put Doom for before the random talk Sundays and then that should be uh, that should be my schedule for the weekend. Or that was the weekend because Doom's gonna be on Saturday for most of the week. Sunday is this video, Monday is Skill Me Zero, and then somewhere in between Doom the actual dungeon will be uh, will be the just a regular video. And let's fuse it in. And let's see how much I got in like 30 minutes. Only got like 15, I think. No, like not even 50. Well, actually, yeah, not even 50. I only got nine. Not I mean 12. So one more session, about an hour for Bao, and that should be it for him. 76. So 23. More to go. But recently, I haven't been like max looking like crazy. Like I only do like the new stuff. I think. Go for like the old stuff pretty sure there's some that are lacking in terms of luck but in terms of luck right now it is 115 they haven't added any more max luck bonuses after 95 so i guess i'm just doing it just to have a buffer for next time they added max luck bonuses but uh that's pretty much it for me i hope you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye